In our tradition, there are blessings that we say every day where we thank God for our body and thank God for our soul. Uh, these are blessings that are traditionally said in the morning, but they can be said at any point in the day. And in these days in particular, when there's a fair amount of anxiety and uncertainty, there's a lot to be said, I think, for zooming in, focusing in on gratitude, not on the things we can't do, but the things that we can do, not on the things that don't work, but the things that do. And so I want to share these two blessings, one for the body and one for the soul, and then a meditation that I think you might enjoy as well. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Yetzar Et HaAdam Bechokhmah. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe. With divine wisdom, you have made our bodies, combining veins, arteries, and vital organs into a finely balanced network. Wondrous maker and sustainer of life, were one of them to fail, how well we are aware, we would lack the strength to stand before you. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of our help and our strength. Baruch Ata Adonai, Rofecho Basar, Umufli Laasot. The second one, the blessing where we thank God for our souls, I'm going to do a little chant for, not because my voice is so great, but to encourage you also to sing, even if your voice, like mine, isn't so great. Elohai neshama shenatata bi tehor hagi. Elohai neshama shenatata bi tehor hagi. Elohai neshama shenatata bi Tehoragi, Elohai neshama shenatatabi. Tehoragi. My God, the soul that you have given me is pure. You created it, you shaped it, you breathed it into me, and you protect it within me. For as long as my soul is within me, I offer thanks to you. Eternal one, my God and the God of my ancestors, source of all creation, sovereign of all souls. Praised are you, eternal one, in whose hand is every living soul and the breath of humankind. Baruch atah Adonai, asher biado nefesh kol chai, veruach kol besar ish. And then finally, a meditation by the Hasidic Rebbe, Nachman of Bratzlav. On these days where we're isolating socially, where we're social distancing, we are still, of course, encouraged to go outside. And this, this meditation, this poem, this prayer is about the healing potential of that. He writes, grant me the ability to be alone. May it be my custom to go outdoors each day among the trees and grass, among all growing things. And there may I be alone and enter into prayer to talk with the one to whom I belong. May I express there everything in my heart and may all the foliage of the field, all grasses, trees, and plants rejoice at my coming, awake at my coming, to send the powers of their life into the words of my prayer so that my prayer and my speech are made whole through the life and the spirit of all growing things, which are made as one by their source. May I then pour out the words of my heart before your presence like water, O God, and lift up my hands to you in worship on my behalf and the behalf of those I love. Amen. Be well, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and of one another. Stay connected.